Let's well, talk that's about when it's hottest. <laughs> I know. And that makes it even hotter. So then you need drinks and then things can get carried I, away. I, exactly. All right, let's talk about this weather. We're not as hot tonight, but it's going to come back. Well, no, and it's going to be plenty hot tomorrow, but it's a pretty picture, isn't it? Yeah. West Jeff Medical Center camera from Marrero of the city looking oh so pretty. All right, here is a look at what's happening. You can see it's been hot all month long. We have not dropped below 90 degrees for the high temperature. And what you're seeing in blue, that was when we were below average. The truth is we're going to end the month on Friday with high temperatures in the 90s. The previous record for July, the average is 85.8. Right now we're at 85.3, which is the second hottest July on record. So you thought it was hot? Yeah, you're right. It was hot. The heat index tomorrow, anywhere from 100 to 108. So you really do need to take some breaks if you're going to be outside working, playing. And also keep in mind you need to hydrate and do check the back seat. Always do that. Don't forget. So high temperatures today were in the mid to the upper 90s. Look at this. At the lakefront, I don't know what's up with this, but it really has been running hotter than other locations, which is kind of unusual. Normally, it doesn't run quite as hot, but the high today, 99 over at Hammond, 99 degrees, 97 at Bogalusa, Gulfport, 94, Audubon, 97, so it was a hot day. At the airport, 94, so it wasn't as hot as yesterday when it was 95 degrees, the average 92, the record 99, and notice the record low 68. That's what I like. So we can look at our temperatures right now, and we've got a range from 78 at Slidell, 79 Bell Chase, but at the lakefront it's 88 degrees. And when you factor in the humidity, which actually isn't as high as it has been, we still have a heat index of 95 at the lakefront and at the airport of 90. Meanwhile, remember the saying, "Ice cream, you scream." We all scream for ice cream. Well, that's what Cody did, and they all went out and got some great ice cream and didn't bring me any. What's up with that? Now, look at this. Anthony Pollard, this great blue heron out fishing. Isn't that a beautiful picture? He's such a great photographer right there on the Gulf Coast. And in Kenner, Kenny got this great shot, some crepuscular rays, some cloud shadows. That was just gorgeous. So as we look at what's happening, we don't have any rain. We've got this big upper level high that causes the air to be compressed and really prevents the rain from developing. Meanwhile, we've been watching this little area of low pressure right along the coast of Florida. Too much wind shear not expected to develop over time that should move off to the northeast. Then we can zoom in southeast Louisiana looking good. You can see on the south shore not seeing any rain. On the north shore Mississippi Gulf Coast not seeing any rain. So let me show you what we're expecting. Tomorrow rain chance is very low. You're going to be in the mid to the upper 90s, but wait, watch this. As we go into your Wednesday, late Wednesday, your rain chances are going up, the potential that you could have some strong storms. So as we look at that forecast tomorrow, 3 o'clock, mid 90s, Wednesday, your better chance of rain is late in the day. Also for your Thursday, you've got a decent shot at some rain. But all the way through July, we're in the 90s. And as we go, can you believe August? As we go into August, still hot, low to the mid-90s.